So it's uh, Sunday morning. Um, it is kind of misty rain. Got a little cool last night in the 50s, something like that. Poor kids. <laughs> it was nasty and rainy and, and they got their little costumes wet because last night was Halloween. Uh, so I'm going to get out here and I'm going to walk around a little bit and talk. Uh, I don't know if you know this guy or not. Uh, I'm, many of you may. You may like him or you may dislike him. But his name is uh, Paul Robinette. Uh, known on YouTube as Renetto. Um, <clears throat> I'm Ramro was the one that was watching him and uh, or it's a friend of mine and uh, I was watching what he'd been watching and uh, first few times I watched Renetto I was like I don't know about you know this he has some uh, pretty strong language at times and and it's not that I'm that big on that it's just that that's just the way he is and he pulls no punches about what he does or what he says that's for sure and uh but now that i've got to watching it more i see uh his family his life what's going on with him what he's done in the past and right now it's what he's doing right now uh he he's just he's just a vlogger and uh and i like it because it's if you do these vlogs it's kind of hard to hide your real self and what you really are he's uh, been doing one video or some videos in the last few days on a guy named John now John you may know too from John's wacky world now John is very special uh, and as Renato says and I will say that too uh, very intelligent uh, a good writer uh, but he has some problems uh, right now in his life. And uh, he, uh, he's just having hard times with his health and, and his life and, and where he lives. And he lives in a very small town. So anyway, uh, I've been watching John's videos. Now, I had seen a few of John's videos from John's Wacky World. And, and they were cute and funny. And I'd watch them, you know, and stuff. And, but... Now I'm really interested because John has got a channel called The John Life. I believe that's correct. I'll, I'll put a link down below. And uh, and it's just really amazing what this guy does. Um, Y'all may remember my friend Ebert. Well, he reminds me so much of Ebert and Ebert of him. And... Uh, so, like I say, it kind of encouraged me to do this. Now, this this is tough stuff for me because I'm holding this camera and this coffee, and I'm just having a heck of a time. And by the way, guys, my breathing is uh, so much better now that I have a nebulizer. And matter of fact, I had just used it a few minutes ago, and uh, that's the reason why I'm able to talk as well as I can because it, it'll last a few hours for me, and then... Uh, Everything starts kind of coming back. I've got some tests going, uh, coming in November. Um, and and it's, it's almost definite, you know, that, well, I know that I've got emphysema. I was told that I had early stages of it about four years ago. And it has truly increased a lot. Uh, I have no insurance. And uh, of course I was self-employed. Um, and uh, I, I am no longer self-employed. I have actually closed my business because I could not uh, do it anymore and that makes things difficult it makes um, it just makes things difficult <laughs> uh, I don't really want to get into details about it but maybe we will you know at a later date but my my health really has been failing me I, and I know I'm getting older I mean I know that and uh, uh, the material things to me now uh, don't seem to mean near as much to me as they used to because of that reason. Uh, when I lost my father in January of this year, it really it really knocked the wind out of my sails. I, uh, I, it just did. It just, it just really, really bothered me a lot. And I know how quick things can turn now uh, in your health. So, uh, so I thought I'll do some of these. If, if you like them, watch them. If you don't, then just click off of them. I understand. They're probably going to be fairly long, 
and uh, and just n nothing but me rambling on and on. Uh, I do have to start standing still more because when I walk, I, I get out of breath and I start having a hard time. But if you get a chance, go to the John Life uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I think one of my favorite videos is one that he put out. It wasn't the one today. I mean, today he's sick. He has colitis and he's sick. And uh, it's just not that, you know, that informative about what's going on except just his feelings. Um, but he did one that was a tour of a cemetery. And when he had lost his job at the newspaper, he became the uh, city grave digger. And then he, uh, his boss at the cemetery passed away. And actually, John was the one that buried him uh, in the cemetery. And they had brought in a new supervisor. And the new supervisor, of course, has a, a crew. And, and John was part of that crew. And the other employees got to picking on John, uh, doing stuff like, take his shovel away from him and, and throw it or something. And uh, I recall those same type of antics from employees that Bert had worked for before. He worked for a roofing company. And they understood what buttons to push on Bert to get him upset. And they would do it constantly. Uh, they would hit him. They would just, they'd just do all kinds of stuff to him because he was the lowest man on the totem pole because uh, that was his abilities. He, he was the the strength. Uh, he'd haul all the shingles to the roof. That was his job. and make sure everybody had shingles. And, uh, and they treated him pretty bad. And it, and it just kind of brought back that memory when, when John said something about it. Uh, the wind's picking up, so I'm going to move over here. But anyway, uh, it's just amazing what John can do. Uh, he, or what His knowledge. Gosh, man, his knowledge. The town is like 10,000 people, and he walked around this cemetery uh, talking about everybody, telling stories about the people that he had buried. And it really is a very informative, touching video. Uh, Paul had, uh, Robinette, uh, Renetto, he had actually set up a PayPal account, or helped John set up a PayPal account. And John, uh, people's been sending me money, you know, like $10 here, $10 there, to, to help him out. Uh, John also is a dumpster diver, and he has a video on that. He has several, but he has one video on that that really is shocking. How he picks up uh, bottles and, and uh, cans and plastic and plastics and, and even his food to eat for the day. And this guy is up in, I believe, New York State is where he's at. So if you get a chance, go check that out. I, I really would appreciate it if you if you would, and just see. You know, you don't have to send me money. Just just see what I'm talking about. And uh, I hope to do a little more of this. Uh, I will definitely put in the title blog uh, on the videos, so that way if you see it and you don't want to watch it, then you can just bypass it. It'll be okay. Um, now I noticed this that when you have blogging like uh, Renato and John do you have trolls and I am one person that I, I just have zero tolerance for them. I, I have finally gotten to where I, I don't lose my temper uh, when, when they say something or do something. I just, uh, normally I block them. I mean, that's just, that's just it. It's just real simple. I just remove the comment and I block them. I'm able to stay on my computer most of the day that if somebody got on there and said something that was just really wacky or bad language or something it's just it's just nothing but meanness uh, usually I'll catch it in a short period of time there'll be very few people that even get an opportunity to see it or comment on it uh, usually I'll know when it's been on there too long because somebody has saw it and and, and they commented uh, on the troll so uh, I did pass 12,000 subscribers and thank you so much I would never imagined in my life that I would have 12,000 subscribers and uh, almost, uh, well, I think two and three quarter million views. And uh, I, I'm not, not going to give up. I, I've never got tired of this. It, it, it is difficult. It's hard to do, harder than you think it would be to do. 
uh, editing is something that takes a long time and I have found that doing what I'm doing here with this uh, selfie stick and this GoPro it makes it a whole lot easier the only thing I don't like is the GoPro doesn't have as good a sound as uh, my um, Canon uh, does and because I can hook an external mic to my Canon or a, a, um, a, a wireless mic, I'm sorry, but I can't hook one to this. I can't do it for this. This is, this is one of those heroes, little cheap ones. You can't hook one. Uh, I have done some stuff where I used the mic and recorded on my Canon and then dubbed the soundtrack off the Canon vid, uh, soundtrack on, you know, to the video with using this video. But anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that I can encourage Tina, uh, who is my girlfriend, by the way. I don't know if I've ever told anybody that. She is not my wife. Tina and I are not married. We uh, both have been divorced. I have been divorced several times. And uh, Tina and I have been together now probably, I guess, about four years. I I'm thinking it's been about that long now. We, 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 and she lives here uh, with my mother and I. Uh, my mother lived a few streets over. Uh, when my stepfather passed, which has been just a little over 10 years ago now, uh, my mother lived in a town about 50 miles north of, well, really more about 70 miles north of here. And uh, she didn't want to live up there by herself, so she sold the home and then she came down and she actually bought my house that I had and then I bought this house. But at that time I was married. and uh, But then about uh, probably three years ago, I guess it was, uh, my daughter came to me and said that Mamma, that's what we all call mom, Mamma, uh, Mamma was afraid to live by herself anymore. She was getting scared at night because uh, she has a little poodle and the little poodle barks at, well, mom's uh, term is uh, she'll bark at a piss ant on the sidewalk. And, and that's, that's pretty much the truth. That's, <laughs> angel barks at everything. So when she'd bark, mom would always be afraid that it was somebody, uh, maybe trying to break in or something. So. Mom didn't tell me this now, you know, my daughter did, so I call Mom up, and, and I'm like, uh, you know, Mom, would you like to move in with me, because, it, you know, now I'm, I'm divorced, and it's just Tina and I in a large house, and oh, yes, yes, yeah, she was, she was like, oh, yeah, so she did, and we just really all enjoy each other, and, uh, and we're looking forward to this traveling, we're hoping that we can do it soon, but, but we also know that we're not going to sit here and sell our house for nothing uh, just to go do that well, we we have the patience to do it but uh, okay so uh, let's see oh what I was gonna say was is I'm hoping that I can get Tina and mom to be on video with me uh, Tina doesn't like it I don't know why she doesn't she just doesn't like it but that's okay I'm not gonna try to get Tina to say something do something that she doesn't want to do but I would like to get her the way she is. That's that's what I want to do. I want to get her the way she she is, her real true self. <laughs> and and uh, it's it's sometimes hilarious. But uh, and mom, she just she just mom. I mean, I know she's my mom, and I I, I am uh, going to say that. But uh, everybody likes my mom. Everybody always does. She she never ever gets upset, but when she does, uh, she uh, she's just a little spitfire when she gets mad, <laughs> and uh, and usually it's over somebody stealing their parking place or something like that. It's not anything big, you know, that she gets upset about. It's the little things that, that, that ticks her off sometimes. But well, guys, I don't know how long this has been running. I'm getting tired of holding this selfie stick. If I could switch hands, it'd be all right. But I got this coffee cup. Uh, but uh, I will um, keep you all informed and uh, try to do more if I can. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>